update 4 on Typhoon Knock 10, which now has winds of 145 miles an hour and a pressure around 935 millibars over the Philippines right now in the Bicol region. Its position is 13.5 degrees north, 123.4 degrees east as of 4pm UTC Christmas Day, midnight the Philippine time. Moving towards the west-northwest, um, or gradually turning towards the west-northwest in the next 12 hours as it will pass very close to Manila, just to the south, uh, probably still as a typhoon, and then into the South China Sea, where it will gradually weaken and then eventually dissipate, probably somewhere near southern Vietnam, in around three or four days' time. So the threat remains with the Philippines right now, um, particularly uh, towards the southern part of Luzon and indeed some of the islands offshore Luzon as well uh, could still get typhoon conditions. Let's take a look more at the warning map. Here's the latest. Uh, you can see this was updated not so long ago. You can see signal 3 and 4 warnings still in effect for parts of the Bicol region, uh, extending as far west as um, the southwestern part of Luzon there. I forget the province names, but southwest of Manila under signal 3 warnings right now as well. Sea surface temperatures uh, remain pretty warm, around 26 or 27 degrees, briefly going back up to 28 Celsius before going down again when the storm moves towards the southwest. That's not going to be the storm's real issue though, that will come in the form of wind shear, which is this you can see here. Uh, low wind shear values right now, but it is going to increase very soon indeed, especially when it reaches the South China Sea, uh, west of the Philippines. There's the latest water vapour image to the northwest there, a bit of dry air it would appear, but around the storm itself it's not looking so bad. Um, the eye of course has disappeared as you're about to see properly on this satellite imagery here. So let's take a look what it's been doing in the last few hours. There you can see it just about grazed the southern coast of Catanduanes earlier um, as a significant Category 4 storm and then made landfall uh, probably in Camarines Sur province I believe it probably is, very close to there at least, and now the storm has tracked overland um, and will probably continue to track due west or just north of west towards Manila but will probably stay just south of the Manila area before moving out over the South China Sea. It's a compact storm as you can see, um, it's not particularly large and its central core is an even smaller area still, um, but Category 4 winds will be seen in that central core. There's the latest uh, wide shot and you can follow the storm at any time on the Force 13 website, force13.com forward slash tracker. Indeed this update has come about a little bit late because of Christmas and because of communications difficulties here at HQ. So whenever something does go wrong over here you can always stay up to date with the tracker on the website. So this storm has been at number 87 for 2016 so far, worldwide, not much longer to go. 44 Category 1 typhoons or their equivalents and 25 Category 3 storms or higher throughout the course of this year. Uh, that puts it in 41st place, uh, 41st place rather, for um, compared with all the other years on the reliable record extending back around 60 years. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website of course, as I mentioned, and also YouTube, Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13 all in text. You can also add Fool 13 on Skype for tropical weather chat at any time, that is F-O-O-L-1-3. The next update on this storm will probably follow in less than 12 hours time, uh, approximately midnight UTC or earlier, we'll have the next update out, um, and of course we'll keep you up to date on the social mediums as well. That's all for now.